Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Evening Prayer for Thursday, March the 17th. It's St. Patrick's Day. Uh, it's year one, Lent, the week, first week of Lent, and week three of the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 95, John chapter 3, verse 16 to 21, and the canticle from Isaiah chapter 38, verse 10 through 20. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Come, ring out our joy to Yahweh. Psalm 95 Come, ring out our joy to Yahweh, and hail the rock who saves us. Let us come before God, giving thanks. With songs, let us hail Yahweh. A mighty God is Yahweh, a great king above all the gods, in whose hands are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains as well. The sea belongs to you who made it, and the dry land shaped by your hands. Come in, let us bow down and bend low, and kneel before you who made us, for you are our God, and we are the people who belong to your pasture, the flock that is led by your hand. On that day, oh, that today you would listen to God's voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your ancestors put me to the test, when they tried me, though they'd seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Come, ring out our joy to Yahweh. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 3, beginning at verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment that the light has come into the world, and people love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light, and do not come to the light, so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O God, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O God, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. You have cast all my sins behind your back. A canticle from the prophet Isaiah. I said, in the noontide of my days I must depart. I am consigned to the gates of Sheol for the rest of my years. I said, I shall not see Yahweh in the land of the living. I shall look upon mortals no more among the inhabitants of the world. 
My dwelling is plucked up and removed from me like a shepherd's tent. Like a weaver, I have rolled up my life, and he cuts me off from the loom. From day to night you bring me to an end. I cry for help until morning. Like a lion, you break all my bones. From day to night you bring me to an end. Like a swallow or a crane, I clamor. I moan like a dove. My eyes are weary looking upwards. O oh, Yahweh, I am oppressed. Be my security. Surely it was for my welfare that I had great bitterness. But you have held back my life from the pit of destruction. For you have cast all my sins behind your back. For Sheol cannot thank you. Death cannot praise you. Those who go down to the pit cannot hope for your faithfulness. The living, the living, they thank you as I do this day. Fathers, make known to children your faithfulness. You will save me, and we will sing to stringed instruments all the days of our lives in your house. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. You have cast all my sins behind your back. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.